Hello friends, welcome to the new tutorial of the React Natives. So today we are going to learn about how to make a collapsible header in React Native. So let me connect to my AnyDesk. So I think it's not connected yet. So I will show you. So let me open that one. Just give me a one minute. It's open. Let's connect it. And OK. And OK. Retry. Power on. Where is my device? This is the device. Accept. Okay. So it is now opened. And you can see that today we are going to learn about this collapse, uh, collapsible header. So whenever we try to scroll it, so this header would be like still remains. And you can switch that accordingly. Okay. So you can this collapsible header that we are going to make it okay so whenever we have this one straw scroll then we have all the data after this we have to this one okay you can see that so we are going to make such kind of things so for this one we have installed the two packages okay so let's begin the tutorial so today so you can see that i have installed react native tab view for basically for the tab you can see that sorry for the tab this is the tab one that we are using this component for the tab view and this is the react native pager view for this this one scrolling effect okay so we have used this one which have a very high usage of the package of this one so we have used this and build, build this one okay so let's understand the things step by step so first of all we have app.js so where we are in the app.js so here we have the book screens okay so we have all the data in the book screens so here we have book screen we have the use the custom tabs for the custom tabs that we have already in so this is the custom tabs okay so let's go to the custom this is custom tabs then we have a header component on the top where we are just writing out the head hello guys this is the header component and books uh, the data and author that carries the static data to render into it okay so in the custom tabs so here we have a custom tabs right so we have a two tabs basically so you can see that we have a tab one and the tab two where we have rendered the item authors data and here we have the books data so this is basically the books data if i go and click on the books data so you can see that there is a books data okay we have export all of that and this is custom tab bar okay so which we have made and here we have a use effect for the scrolling effect okay so scroll top bottom we have added here for the height so that it will add it over here and on moment scroll up scroll end so we have set the offset okay so we have created the function according to the height and width we have set it okay these are the two tabs which we have made one and after that we have, we can see that we have pushed all the data list array okay and we have add all this into this one and then we have animated view render top bar okay which we have rendered all the data details and render all the initial screens okay so this is basically full fledged on the custom tab bar and then we have a header part so in the header part you can see that just we have animated view we have taken the animated view and just uh, write some title and the high transformation over it okay and let's understand the next one the header we have understand so header we have added so this is the header where we have a header height scrolling top in uh, inset and we have a custom tabs you can see that in the custom tabs we have all the data for the that data that we have bind it okay and uh, what about the data that we have in the this one the data books so where the books are this one so books are here me they uh, so custom tabs for rendering books data we have sent it so in the custom tabs you can see that see that books data are is there so in the books data you can see that all the data is passed in the tab one and the author's data passed in the tab two okay so this is the render item render scene so whenever there is a call of render scene okay so they have called in the tab view all the render scene and render scene what they exactly done it return all the scenes like the we have currently the name and the image so basically that is returning by this one okay 
on scroll dra drag and drop you can see that we have a list array and continue with the e key route and we have render all the things okay then we have a render label the render tab bar okay this is the full flesh dev view that we have added then we have a header already know about it okay and uh, anything we miss author this is the basically the json of the data that we have added and same is the author books okay so we have added so after adding all these things the output and the result is this part and don't forget to add these two packages for this one rack native page view and rack native tab view to get the full fledged look and the feel of that one okay you can see that it's like without click i can scroll it like see and you can scroll 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 and you can shift the tab tab also okay you can scroll this one okay you can you can just scroll like this okay so this kind of thing if you want to make uh, in your project so you can use such kind of thing and it's very cool feature that you can add into your react native project okay thank you so much for watching the video don't forget to like share and comment on my video thank you so much have a great day